Oh, there you go. Hey guys, my name's Chris, and you're watching WC Fishing. <laughs> What is going on guys? Chris here, back again with another episode for you guys today. So, uh, this is a video I've wanted to do for quite some time. As you can tell by the title of the video, guys, you already know why I'm here. I'm gonna be doing a fishing challenge where I have nothing but a knife and my surroundings. Anything I can find on the ground counts. I'm just gonna use whatever I can and hopefully get on some fish. Let's get to it. All right, so first things first, I think the best idea now would be to find some sort of material I can use for fishing line. Now, that could be a whole range of things. Could be any kind of uh, vegetation, maybe even old fishing line I find on the ground. That would be the best case scenario. Um, next, I do want to find some sort of hook or something I can use to actually catch the fish. That is probably going to be relatively easy because there are quite a few hooks all around the ground here uh, from all the fishermen who've come here in the recent years. Uh, if I can't find anything like that, I'm going to have to carve something out with my knife and uh, maybe I'll make a custom hook on my own. I don't know. I think the target fish today, guys, well, really, I can catch anything. It could even be a bass, car, but probably it's going to end up being some type of sunny perch, something small like that. Uh, anyway, guys, so I'm really excited about this. I've wanted to do this video for a long time, like I said, and uh, yeah, let's get to it. I'm going to try to find some sort of substitute for a fishing line or maybe even some old fishing line that I can find lying on the ground. This shouldn't be too hard, I would imagine, just because uh, people often leave tangles of line lying around on the ground all the time. Let's see what we can find. Let's check around on the ground here. It's gotta be something. Uh, look at that, there's a, uh, let's see if I can get that out. This is the tip to an old fishing rod. Check that out. Well, that's not really any use to us. I could use this piece of string. You guys see that? That might work. I could keep that for something. It's gotta be something lying around though. Oh, here we go. Got a much longer piece of string. That's gonna be quite useful. Uh, oh, <laughs> guys, check that out. It is a tiny circle hook. That is going to be quite useful in this challenge. <laughs> okay. Uh, I almost have everything already. Wow, that was uh, pretty quick. Like I said, fishermen leave all kinds of things lying around and I managed to find this little circle hook. All right, guys, so I have string and a little hook. All right, next, guys, I'm gonna wanna cut off the excess string I got here with the one tool that I was allowed to bring with me, my Rapala knife, and I'm gonna go ahead and snip off that excess line. There we have, we have about six inches of line, and a little circle hook. So we obviously can't just dangle this in the water and hope to catch a fish. I think the best idea now will be to find some sort of rod or a stick I can use to get it out farther in the water to get where the fish are. So I'm just gonna check around in here and see what I can find. I found a stick. It's kind of nasty though. I mean, any of these sticks could really work, but I want to find the best rod. A big tangle brambles oh wow <laughs> this actually works really well all right let's see what I can do with this stick next step of the challenge I'm gonna tie on the leader that I collected from all the materials around the pond to the end of this stick all right guys and there we have it small hook about not as much leader as I would like about three inches and then I have this rod all right so the last step guys is gonna be for me to find some bait let's check it out over here oh damn that's a big one guys check out that worm there we go <laughs> let's go guys that's exactly what you want to see oh god he's getting away there we go oh got two more damn these things are everywhere today Just got two more worms. Let's go ahead and restring our line. 
Honestly, I think if anything bigger than a sunfish comes and takes this, the rod is going to snap or the line will. I'm gonna take the chunk of worm that I accidentally tore apart and I'm gonna go ahead and put this hook right through it, like so. And there we have it. All right, let's see what happens. I'm gonna wanna go ahead over here and drop down a bait into the water. Try it right over here again. Like I said guys, there are sunfish literally everywhere in this pond, so it's really not that difficult to catch one of these guys. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there it is guys. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. No, no. Don't you dare. Ah, saved him. Saved our catch. See that, guys? That right there is a success. All right, guys. First fish of the day, a bluegill sunfish. A really gorgeous looking fish, which if I was in a survival situation, this would be perfect to eat. But I think I'm probably going to go ahead and release this guy because obviously I don't want to eat him right now. I have no need to, which it would just be inappropriate for me to do so. All right. Let's get an underwater release. Thanks, little guy. You just completed my challenge. All right, guys. Got the bait tied on. Let's put it down there. Oh, I'm getting slammed. <laughs> oh, whoops, 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 you just came off. Yep, that's thunder. That bait is getting smacked. <laughs> there we go. Got another one. That is pretty crazy. Damn. It's a gorgeous looking fish. Go ahead and get a release. Thanks little guy. See you later. All right guys, so unfortunately, as you can see, it is starting to rain. So I really gotta get going. The thunder's getting louder. I'm already hearing some lightning, so I gotta leave like now. Uh, but basically guys, the challenge was a really big success. I'm really happy with how it went. I honestly did not expect to find the number of materials that I actually found today. But I managed to find a little circle hook, a bit of leader, and a nice twig to use as a stick. And yeah guys, it caught me quite a few fish. And if I had stayed here longer without the thunderstorm, I would have caught enough to feed myself for quite a while. So really happy guys how today went. And the only tool I brought with me to use was this Apollo knife. So pretty happy about that guys. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next video.